some things about weathers. One, they do not come into rut like the other bucks. They're not hard to handle. They don't get pushy with people very easy. Two, their fleece stays much finer than the bucks. Three, no smelly fleece half of the year that you're washing out trying to get the buck rut smell out of. Four, great ambassadors for the public, the general public to see. Um, you've got them great with children and, you know, um, anybody who wants to pet them and play with them. The other thing I want to mention is they're great for going in with the kids and being little surrogates as they're weaned from their dams. And also they're great pack animals. They're perfect for packing. They're great for, you know, camping along with that. They're great for parades. As a cart team, it's awesome. And these are so versatile. And imagine that like in a parade. You can't be. So basically the weathers are the quiet heroes of the backyard fire. My name is Chris McLaughlin. I am with Laughing Curling Company. I am the CAGMA Secretary, Colored and Royal Goat Breeders Association. This is my weather stone, and he is four years old. Um, I've been in Angora goats for about six years, and we love all weathers. We have 13 goats at home, and we have a few weathers, and we find that um, they are some of our best members of our fiber flock. So a weather is a buck goat originally that's been castrated so we can no longer make babies. So um, I like to call it the third sex because he's, he's really, I, I don't seem sexless, but, but he's really not. They have their own thing going on and um, it is really valuable, I think, to have them. Also, for new people who are just getting into the Angora Ghost who are interested, you don't have to breed to have five and, and to sell it and to you know, produce this on your farm because um, these guys produce their entire lives. So you are shearing them twice a year and you're having your fiber all the time. And yet you're also having this very sweet, docile animal that doesn't come into rut. You're not gonna have to wash yourself in a pen with him ever. He's a sweetheart. And, um, you know, and we just find that they're the friendliest ones on our farm. So they're, they're great for smaller farms, smaller backyard farms. You know, what I love about weathers, and I think they're very um, underutilized and no one talks about them very much, but what they're great for is that their fiber is actually softer uh, than the box, and um, that is because they're not producing a lot of testosterone to breed the females, so uh, we get that nice soft softness to them. And also, um, because they are not um, full of that testosterone, they're a little bit friendlier, all the time they stay very steady there's no fluctuation in that they um, make great kids pets they make great ambassadors we have him here today at the fair everybody is able to pet him and love him and give him treats um, so we really enjoy having them um, on our farm we also use them as babysitters when we wean our little babies they're often sad to leave mom and instead of throwing the young bucks in with the bigger bucks we throw them in the stone and he takes care of them and kind of treats them like a big you know, little brothers. Um, you know, normally for us, I think everybody has a different age for when they might weather um, their goats. We as Angora people really choose to have them a little bit older. So uh, maybe some people say six months, we don't weather ours till a year because we want to see how their fiber will turn out if we want to leave them as a buck or not. Um, so in, in this breed, we tend to leave them as bucks a little bit longer, but it doesn't really change anything because they don't really get bucky for really a couple of years. So you're, you're kind of safe in there. Um, weathering can be done several ways. One of them is with a band that actually cuts off the circulation and kind of, they kind of die and fall off eventually. Um, the veterinarian can also come out and uh, cut a slit in there, cut the uh, vas deferens tubes and sew it back up. And then they are also weathered. Uh, they may still have what looks like the sack of the testicles, but uh, they are weathered. Um, it really depends on what you want to do, and, and um, it can get a little more pricey with the vet. Um, and when they're younger, it's a little bit easier, I think, to band. So the elastrator band, um, the, it's, it's, a, it's a, a sort of a, a machine or a unit that opens up, stretches a very thick rubber band. And at that point, the testicles are slid in and you're making sure that uh, both sides of those testicles are, are down in there. And then when the elastor band is let go, it actually squeezes the top of the testicle, the sac. 
um, and that cuts off the circulation to the testicles and of course eventually they fall off. You know, and also, uh, you know, also for me, weathering these guys gives them a second opportunity at life, and I know that sounds really funny, but I, I recently spoke with somebody earlier uh, here at the fair that they take their bucks that are unwanted and they just um, immediately have them sold off as meat. Um, when you weather them, you have an opportunity to also sell these docile animals as fiber animals to other people. So you might want to not have them in your herd, you might not be um, you know, wanting to keep them, come here buddy, uh, but at the same time, they can go on to lead really productive lives. He was weathered at about almost a year old, so um, he never was overly bucky at that point, um, but uh, if he was older, he would be, um, during the rut in the fall, he would be kind of uh, randy and um, challenging, um, not only to other bucks, sometimes to humans, they can be a little bit unsafe there. Watch yourself a little bit. Um, so he didn't get an opportunity to get that far, but they would. Um, the other thing is, is um, his horns, um, some of the other bucks, when you see the bucks that still are intact, their horns are really large and long, and they keep growing and spiraling. His are still growing, very, very tiny though. His are almost in between uh, a doe's horns, which go down and out and very slender and, and feminine, whereas his are sort of in between a really large buck horns and the little doe horns. And they will continue to grow, but they just don't grow those big giant um, racks that the boys have, which are beautiful and impressive, of course. And we really like them. You know, we, we spoke a lot um, as a uh, club about having weather classes and, and why that would even be important. I've, I've heard people mention. You know, what is the point? They can't be reproduced, um, they can't have babies, and they can't make babies. And you know, they're really important. And one of the reasons is that, for one, like they are an ambassador of the breed, they can come here and walk around and be friends with everybody and introduce the public. You want to pet you it? Come here. You know, introduce the public to them and um, show them what these animals are. The other thing is, when you have those classes, you do get to see, uh, for instance, you know, he was weathered kind of young. Maybe as his fleece got bigger and better, I may say to myself, if a judge says, wow, this is really great, I might want to repeat that breeding. And now I know I want to do that. And the other thing is, it gives um, the chance for more goats to be out in the public in the ring. It also gives a chance to people who are not interested as breeders to show their animals. They're gorgeous. They should be shown. And, and we weren't we're proud of them. And so getting weathers out there is, is every bit as fun as important as uh, the breeding animals. So. Okay, so Stone we got from a farm that um, he was actually on a show string. He went out and he did his thing. He actually did well, to be honest. But his twin brother, come here, Sonny. His twin brother actually did um, a little bit better than him. And so when the farm judges those animals, they decided that his fleece wasn't quite what his brother's was, and they weren't going to keep him in their breeding program. So they went ahead and weathered him, and we bought him as a weather because his fleece is beautiful. He's a gorgeous color. Colored anymore goats are sort of new to the scene. Um, we have had the white mohair goats forever and ever and ever, and these guys are only about 35 years old, and these colors, are very desirable within the cottage industry of spinners. And so we thought, hey, why not have this friendly, wonderful guy on our farm and make him part of our family and show the world. And that's actually what we're out here doing now, showing all the kids and everybody how gentle and sweet these guys are. When we did have the uh, class decided um, to be here, the weather class, um, we were very excited. We've wanted it. We've tried for it. We got it here. Six people entered, which actually is a lot. It, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. There are sometimes classes that are smaller, but people were excited. And now that they figured out it's here, we know we'll have a ton more next year. Um, but, you know, so, you know, if you're in a club or you're in 4-H or something and um, you have a small farm and you have weathers, you know, approach your, your show people at these fairs, even the county fairs. I know county fairs have a hard time sometimes, um, you know, with um, getting new things in, getting new breeds in. But um, our state fair, thankfully, um, allowed them in, and it's opened up a whole new window for many more exhibitors, actually, because now us as breeders, um, we are always here. But now you look at people who actually have backyard farms that are, you know, only have these guys. And now we have them in our class today, and, or yesterday, and we, um, we enjoyed it. Everybody had a great time. And there were some gorgeous animals, by the way. And 
we have had a wonderful time, and I hope that people will go out and seek out to have them in the classes. Is they're really trying to promote these guys. I mean, they're valuable animals, and uh, are a third sex of a valuable animal. Like, let people know about them.